Hey y'all, we are having so much fun today because we're going to make pecan pie muffins. I tell you what, we love any pecans any way we can get them. And we love pecan pie, but I thought pecan pie muffins would be so great because you could actually have it for breakfast and um, it just be, have a lot of uses that you can freeze them well. And so I just thought it'd be a lot of fun to do. So the recipe, first of all, hello everybody. <laughs> I'm so glad that you've joined me today because um, I love y'all basically. <laughs> so thank you, thank, thank you. So the first thing that you're supposed to do is take two uh -huh. eggs. So I've already started that, um, but I was gonna show two eggs, one, two. And you mix them to, until they're kind of frothy. Y'all probably can't see that, but um, they're nice and they just look pretty, you know, and just kind of fancy. There we go. And then you add, that's two eggs, then you add one and a third cup of melted, not really melted, kind of softened butter, and you mix that together really well until it's kind of nice and creamy. Now let me make sure that I get set. <laughs> Would you please use a spatula so you can get everything out of, out of your bowls? I got so tickled, honestly. But it's true. So anyway, I should have gotten my spatula. So I'm just going to whirl this just to set it. Just to make sure it's creamy. Anytime you bake, you want to make sure that your butter um, and eggs are mixed together really well and that they're nice and clean. So, y'all, this looks so good. It honestly, I'm going to have to come back over here and show y'all this. It almost looks like a custard already. So, let's see. Let's show you. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, y'all? Okay, so we're going to put this aside just a minute and mix together our dry ingredients. Let me put this aside. <laughs> okay, here we go. So our dry ingredients are one cup of very well packed brown sugar. And I used light brown sugar, so I'm gonna put that in our bowl. Then a half a cup of self-rising flour. And then mix this together really well. You know, um, any time, whenever you measure flour, you know, you dip it in and then you kind of scrape the top of the, um, of the measuring cup so that you can make sure that it's measuring exactly one cup. Now, it's a little bit different when you're measuring brown sugar because it is, um, it tends to be, I don't know, it's so flavorful, but it does tend to get a little bit sticky maybe. So you have to dip it and then pack it down. Like here's the cup right here. You pack it down with your hand to make sure that um, it's truly your whatever you're trying to measure. So let me get all this incorporated really well. While I'm doing that, let me tell y'all, thank you so much for following me and subscribing. You know, um, it just, I've read so many things lately about supporting small business people and how easy it is just by liking and sharing their content and writing a little comment about it. And so anyway, if y'all have time to do that, I really would appreciate it. Okay, you see this brown sugar is a little sticky. <laughs> so I'm making sure that it, it did that the other day when we were making those cowboy cookies. Remember that? Oh my goodness. So let me make sure that we don't have any lumps in it. We shouldn't have any. And I know, I do know that one way to make sure that your brown sugar does not have lumps is to put a slice of apple in it. So um, I'm going to do that. I have this really good <laughs> container. What do y'all keep your brown sugar in? I need, I need to know because <laughs> we got to do that. Okay, now we're going to add, um, let me make sure about the 
amount because I want to because it's a lot. Two cups of chopped pecans. Now this is the way I like to chop my pecans for anything that I'm baking. I don't chop them just real fine. I like them to have some body. So this is two cups of pecans. So you can see why this recipe is called pecan pie bread. Because you use a lot of pecans. I'm going to be at Little Eva's Pecan House um, April 27th. She's having, they're having this wonderful um, spring fair. And I talked to her the other day, to Miss Susan, and she has got 43 vendors, y'all. So that's a bunch. So anyway, y'all come see us. We're so excited. We'll be there from 9 to 4. The day before, we're going to uh, go around to some Lebo's and take some pictures and all. So, hopefully, I'll run into you there. <laughs> so, anyway, here are our dry ingredients. And you can see that it's mainly pecans. So, this is going to be very pecan forward, which, of course, we all love. So, I'm going to make a, kind of a little well in the middle of it. And then I'm going to pour in my eggs and butter. Now, y'all, I use Kerrygold butter. They had it at Costco, and it has probably the optimum amount of fat because it's from Ireland. It's really good. I like to use Amish butter, too, um, but anyway, that's what I had. And you can, I mean, there's just a difference whenever you're baking with it. Seriously, difference. So we're going to kind of pull, you know how you do when you make biscuits? We're going to kind of pull it around together. Um... Now, a lot of people have a dough bowl that they make biscuits in, and they keep their flour in it and all like that. I don't do that, but I do think it's good to put the liquid ingredients in, in a well in the middle of your dry ingredients um, so that you can mix them together really well. It kind of helps them to um, incorporate all of the dry and make sure that you don't leave any dry ingredients in your bowl whenever you are dipping up your batter to put in the muffin cups. Now this makes nine muffins, or I don't even know how, to, how many mini muffins it would make, but this is a great idea to make some mini muffins out of this. Um, we've preheated our oven to 350, and what you do for most baking, and we're going to bake them for about 20 minutes, and y'all, my kitchen's going to smell so good. <laughs> And my house does smell so good. So, um, anyway, let's finish. See, this, I knew this batter is going to be really thick. It's thick, y'all. It's kind of like a cake. Oh, my goodness. It is going to be yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. I saw something that I really like. And, you know, I have this joy behind me. Can you see it? There it is. I keep all the time. It was actually a Christmas decoration, but I just feel like you always should choose joy. And the other day, I saw something that said you should always share joy. So that's going to be my new motto, to share joy always. Okay, so here is our muffin tin, and I am going to use our little ice cream scoop. You need to always fill your muffin uh, cups with two thirds of a cup up uh, two thirds with your batter. And just so y'all know, I did get all over that. <laughs> I got all over that. Okay. So here we go. Let's make sure that they're two thirds. Now this is going to make nine muffins, like I said. So um, but that'd be plenty for us. We'll enjoy them. You can easily double this recipe if you need more muffins, or like I said, make mini muffins, and that'll solve your problem. Mini muffins are great with like just a little coffee in the afternoon or something, because it's just like a bite of treat. And um, now you know what, y'all. This is gonna well. Let's let's finish, and then I'll see. I'm gonna see if this isn't gonna take more than nine muffins. This muffin tin. The cups in it are a little bit smaller, which is great because then you can have more muffins. So um, we actually got it in Texas 
you know, we lived in Texas for a long time. We all love Texas. And um, they had these. I love to go to H-E-B whenever we go back. And they had these at H-E-B. And they were so pretty and red. You know how I love red. So I got them. I was real excited about it. Okay. So I think we have just enough to make a dozen muffins. I'm going to scrape the bowl. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Make sure we got all of the batter that we can. Okay. That's not going to make a very big one. So I might have to borrow a little bit. Let me borrow a bit from this one. So it has a bunch of batter in it. And maybe this one. Okay. So it's going to make a dozen muffins. So here we go. Instead of just nine, like I said. I'm going to put them in the oven. It's preheated to 350 and take them out in about 20 minutes. I'll start looking at them at 15 minutes, though, just to make sure. And we'll be back, and we'll show you these yummy, yummy muffins. Okay, y'all, I forgot something that I had planned on doing. I've got some of this turbinado sugar, and I'm going to sprinkle it on the top. And that will give it just a little bit of added sweetness, and it'll be crunchy. And beautiful because it's real shiny. So um, I'm glad I thought of it before I put them in the oven because I wanted to make sure and do that. So this is easy to find. It's pure cane sugar. <laughs> and um, it's beautiful and yummy. So, okay, here we go. Now they'll go in the oven. Okay, y'all, here are our beautiful pecan pie muffins. And I'm telling you, they really do taste just like a pecan pie. They are still very warm. <laughs> I tried to taste one, and because there's so much sugar in it, it kind of candies, and it can burn your tongue. So <laughs> wait until they cool to bite into them, but they smell so delicious. And it's just a great little take on a pecan pie, but in a muffin. Bon appetit, y'all.